Hey guys, um, appreciate you being on. Uh, obviously, uh, real tough game tonight. Um, give Iowa, Iowa a ton of credit. Um, Garza, 22 points and 10 rebounds. Wiesenkamp, 26 points and 10 rebounds. Um, Coach McCaffrey does a great job. Um, they're a tough team. They're the best offensive team in the league, and our defense wasn't up to where it needed to be today. We took way too many threes. The basketball game, but, uh, but uh, credit to credit to, 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 to Iowa, Iowa, no good basketball, good basketball team. team here. Steve, when uh, Miles Johnson picks up three quick fouls like that, how much does it turn the game on its head for you guys? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, especially when they have you know one of the best inside players in the country. So he never really got involved in the game today. Um, I'll have to look at the tape and. And see, uh, but yeah, three fouls in you know in the first half, and never really got involved. And obviously, you know, we need Miles. Cliff gave us some good minutes, and Duke gave us some good minutes um, too. Um, but we still, you know, we had some chances. You know, you just can't take that many threes. And again, we got beat rebounding wise and at the free throw line. And those are two areas we talked a lot about before the game uh, with this team. That's what happened to us the last time we played them. Steve, you guys seem to always be playing behind uh, this game. What was your kind of message to the team, uh, you know, and how to handle that situation? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's life in this league, you know, so um, we just had to keep grinding. I think we played really hard. I liked our effort a ton. Uh, but you get behind against a really good offensive team like this, and, you know, they make 11 threes. Um, you know, they average nine, nine and a half. You know, our defense has to be better. We can't make some tough ones. I'm going to have to watch the tape again. But, um, you know, obviously got open at times. And, and uh, you know, we just have to play better uh, than this. But we, we kept grinding, kept grinding. Could have made it interesting. Needed a couple timely baskets. And we didn't seem to get those, you know, you know, in this game. Needed to get to the free throw line, you know, to kind of set up our defenses and stuff. And never really got a chance to do that either. We'll go to Brian Fonseca and then Aaron Brightman. I think um, you're mute. I think, Brian, you're muted. I um, can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Now I can hear you, yes. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, you mentioned the, the too many threes. It, was that a matter of, of shot selection, or did you feel like at some point you guys missed so much that you wanted to look for other avenues to score? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to get to the free throw line. You don't get to the free throw line when you shoot threes. And, you know, that's way too many threes for us. We talked about that before the game. But when you get down like that, too, they're, you know, um, more apt to take threes, try to get you back in the game. So our shot, shot selection wasn't good. It has to be real good against a team like this. And certainly didn't want to get into a three-point shooting contest with, with Iowa. That's not a recipe for success. Coach, obviously a disappointing loss, um, but this team has had uh, similar games with um, foul trouble and other adversity throughout the game. Are you encouraged how they handled it um, this time around and, and in terms of moving forward from this loss? Yeah, I mean, they fought through it. And, and again, we got a game in a couple of days, so we can't spend a lot of time. But, you know, we've been rebounding real well. We've been defending. We needed to keep this game in the 60s. That was our goal, and we didn't. Um, you know, we got to do a good job, but we, we fight and they stuck together. I mean, everyone seemed to be in foul trouble at some point in time. You know, we had to go deep into our bench, but uh, I, I like the way guys responded. I like the way, you know, guys kept fighting through all the different obstacles. It seemed like every time we went on the court, there was something else going on. Um, you know, um, we had some, you know, fouls and Paul Mulcahy, I don't, you know, you know, getting injured. I mean, just had a lot run. Um, cramping up a little bit. So we just had a lot of different things going on today and, and uh, kind of fought through it and, and continued to play hard is a good sign. We'll, we'll go over to Zach and then to Richie. Steve, you guys, at least of late a little, have, have struggled with the top half of the league. Just how, how tough is it, these top teams in this league, and how much do you think it'll help prepare you for March? I mean, all the teams in this league are good. I mean, I don't top half. They're 12 of 12 been ranked. So, I, you know, I think what happens when ranked teams beat ranked teams, then you move out of the rankings. Um, but the league is really good, and it's especially really challenging on the road. And, 
you know, Iowa's experienced. Obviously, they can shoot the ball. Bohannon's been around. He's really good. Wiesenkamp has played a lot of minutes. It's a real veteran basketball team. It's well coached, you know, so you got to play better than we played, you know, tonight. But that's that's on me to make sure that we play better and um, make sure we, we execute the game plan, um, you know. And tonight was just never got that feel. Game was really choppy. Um, you know, just never really seemed to get our feet under our, us. But, you know, again, I was really good. They've beaten a lot of really good teams. They got a lot of weapons. And, you know, we certainly needed to shut a couple of those weapons down, and we didn't. Steve, late in the game, you put Jaden Jones in. Obviously, he's only been in the program for about a month now. But what has he shown you in practice to uh, earn him some playing time? Well, I mean, first of all, I mean that that he got here was the first, you know, he had to do a lot of work. So real, real proud of him, you know, for, for being able to graduate early. You know, it's really hard when you just come to a program in, in the middle of the season like that. Um, but, you know, he's probably had, you know, 12 full practices, 13 full practices, but a lot of them are game prep practices. So they're not even practices where we're going over the things that we do. Um, so he's done a really good job in the weight room. He's done a good job academically. You know, he's going to be a really big part of our future. It's good to get him, you know, in there today. It's been hard, you know, um, games have been really close in this league and tight and, um, it's, it's been hard, but, um, he's doing better and better, but you know, it's, it's hard. We have a lot of plays we run. We have a lot of defenses that guys have been working on since June that when you get here in January, right in the middle of it. So, you know, real pleased and happy. You know, Jaden's been great, great kid too. So very excited about him. Two more questions for coach from Jerry and then Brian Fonseca, and then we'll get Gio in here. Steve, Ron, Ron Harper is going through this thing where he's a top name on everybody's scary report. How's he dealing with that? And what are teams doing to sort of deny him the ball in the places where he likes it, you think? Yeah, I mean, Ron, you know, I mean, Ron's having a really good season. He really is and, and uh, does a lot of things for us. Um, and his defense is, keeps improving too. So, um, you know, everyone will look at stats and everyone looks at shooting percentages, but Ron's, you know, doing a really good job. And he and he is the number one guy, you know, on the scouting report, he, he and Gio. Um, so they get the best defenders. They get a lot of attention, um, you know. But Ron, Ron's really good. I have a ton of, you know, confidence in him and, continues, you know, to get better. But, you know, life isn't easy in this league. This league is when you have a good game, they're going to the, the team you play next is going to make sure that you don't have one the next game. And, you know, Ron's learning to live, live as the top guy on the scouting report. Steve Cliff got some pretty big minutes early on and throughout the game because of the foul trouble with Miles. I guess just how do you think he reacted to getting thrust into that early role and just, you know, his performance overall? Cliff is, you know, practicing better and better. You know, that five week hiatus with the knee really, you know, he was progressing nicely. You know, he's getting better and better. He's a good worker. He's a great kid. He comes in and watches film. Um, you know, you've got to learn in a league against all big guys that are really experienced and, and really good. And I think you saw some of his activity today, some of his ability to score, block shots, run the floor. His defense is getting better and better too, which is a really good sign for us moving forward. But, you know, you know, these young guys never had the advantage of, of a, you know, of a non-conference season, you know, where they would have got a lot of experience and, you know, only playing four games and then being thrust into the best league in the country is not an easy thing. So real, real, real happy with his development and real happy how he played against, you know, arguably the best big guy in the country, right? Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. Okay, guys, I always appreciate you being on. Thanks so much. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, guys. We're going to see if we can have, have Gio Baker join us now. <clears throat> All right, guys, we got Gio with us now. We'll start off just with questions for him. If we'll start with Jerry and then Bobby. Gio, first of all, thank you for coming on and talking to us on the road like this. We we appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, you know, what do you think is the difference that allowed Iowa to open up the game early? And how much does it hurt losing Miles Johnson? And what else was was the difference in the separation there in the beginning? Uh, I mean, well, one of our keys coming in was to defend without fouling. 
Um, you know, right away, Miles gets two, and I think Cliff gets two right after him. Um, I forget the the numbers, but I mean, they led at the free throw line by a lot more than we did, which was one of our keys. Um, rebounding was one of our keys. We lost in that category, and then we didn't want to get into a shootout. And, uh, you know, that, that's what happened. So I thought we played really hard today. Um, you know, everyone, the effort was there. Everyone wanted to win the game, but we just didn't play smart enough. Gio, it seemed like nothing was going your way for a while there, but you guys kept fighting. Um, as a captain, what were you kind of telling the guys through that uh, whole ordeal? Yeah, what you just said, just keep fighting. Um, you know, we've faced a lot of adversity in this league. Um, the four years I've been here, you know, you just got to fight through that. Um, I thought we did a good job, but like you said, stuff wasn't really going our way. And um, sometimes we, we get a little too emotional too, so we got to um, be able to to just handle the adversity a little bit better and just and just keep going through with it. Gio, you mentioned not wanting to get into a shootout. It did look like you guys had a decent amount of open looks that just weren't falling. Is that a matter of just things snowballing? Was it an off night? I guess, what do you attribute those issues to? Yeah, I mean, I, that's exactly what I said. I felt like we had a lot of really good looks, um, you know, a couple shots just, just not really going our way. Um, but then then you start thinking about it um, and you think about the, the good look and then hesitate and then you take a, a worse shot that was already there and uh, that's kind of when the shootout started and um, they were feeling really good from three and when you get a shootout with a team like Iowa it's just it's not a recipe for success. Alan and then back to Jerry. Uh, Gio you talked about how the team handled adversity tonight do you think it actually is it helpful to have a short turnaround now to be able to get back at it on Saturday? Uh, with the positive that you guys did, uh, you know, you didn't quit in this game at all? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like the team is, you know, we're in good spirits right now. We're locked in. Um, you know, one game doesn't make or break our season. We have a lot of games left, so we got to keep fighting and, um, you know, continue towards our goals. Gio, you, you guys are still in really good position. What's your what's your message to these guys? Uh, and now, how much is having this play in the this top teams in the league make you guys better? Yeah, just taking it one game at a time. Um, you know, we felt like we've been in every single game with, with these top teams, so we know how good we are. Um, you know, got to keep watching film, just got to keep learning, keep getting better. Um, you know, when you lose a game like this, we got to go back to film and just see how we can progress as a team, as a unit, and um, just staying in high spirits. Um, you know, we're basically zero and zero right now, so we're right where we want to be. Just got to keep fighting. Thanks, Gio. Appreciate it. Time for one more. Brian, you have one. Fonseca. Thanks. Uh, Gio, you mentioned the, the, the issues to getting to the free throw line. You guys shot six, three, th six free throws all night. I guess, what do you guys have to do to get to the free throw line more often? What's missing there? Uh, well, not take 28 threes, I think it was. Uh, that's probably a good start. Um, you know, our best post player only played 10 minutes today. So uh, that was one of our focuses coming in was to get Miles the ball. And uh, he wasn't even in the game. So that's kind of tough for us. But um, just going up strong too. You know, sometimes we uh, we try to avoid contact instead of trying to go through it. But um, you know, in our win streak, we were getting to the line a lot. So I don't know if it's just a one game thing, but I I kind of just have to watch the film and just see what was going on. All right, we'll end it there. Thanks, Gio, for joining us. Thanks, Thanks man. a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks everybody for coming on. We'll catch you Saturday from the Northwestern game. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Safe travels.